Hello and welcome to Fair Rugby on Forever Sports. And some very interesting news. The Springboks are the best team in the world once again. Their victory over France has propelled them to the top of the world rankings as that officially updated today. Uh, very interesting to see what the ranking table now looks like as we go further into the World Cup. It starts to affect certain teams which have dropped out of the World Cup and therefore dropped down the rankings. Which I suppose it's fair. It's about right, isn't it? You know, it's all very well being the number one ranked side in the, in, the, in the tournament, but all of a sudden you get knocked out, and uh, that usually means the teams below you will, will sort of gain quite a big advantage because obviously you get more points from each get team ranked higher than lower. Yeah. And uh, as a result, the table has shifted quite a lot following the two. We call it upsets, really. South Africa beating France, the host nations, and then New Zealand beating number one side world in Ireland. So there is a bit of movement on the table. And uh, before we have a look at it, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. What was once 20 teams is down to four. We are into semi-final week. Rusty Rasmus has given an update on, on the squad. Go check that out. The All Blacks have reacted to a Springbok win, as well as given an update from um, out of their camp with regards to how things are looking. So go check that out as well. We will be bringing you some coverage over the next few days, and obviously we'll be live over the weekend for those semi-finals, and hopefully a Springbok final next week on the 28th of October. So in terms of the world rankings, and again, you know, it, it doesn't mean a, a, a lot right now. It's all about... It's all about the World Cup final. It's all about the World Cup. It's about who's going to the trophy in less than two weeks. That's kind of really what will determine who the best team in the world is. Um, but right now, if you were to go on rankings, the best team in the world will be the box because that is what the world rankings currently look like. Big gains for the box. They have moved up um, a couple of spots. Uh, they were down in third and they are up to first place uh, for the first time this year. For the first time since they lost their ranking, in fact. Um, so... Um, uh, about a year ago, I think it was. Uh, so we are up at the top there. We are sitting with 92.48 points. We've actually got almost a, a one and a half point advantage over New Zealand, who also rise to, uh, they go into second place. Ireland have dropped from number one down to number three. France dropped from number two down to four. England have risen from number six back up to five, uh, a higher the first higher they've been for a while, while Scotland have dropped down to sixth. Argentina have gone um, for Wales, and they've gone into seventh from eighth. Uh, Fiji has remained the same, Australia has remained the same, Wales dropping down to a there. So if you look at the World Cup, it's it's pretty close, isn't it, to, to what I think is, is about right. You know, we, we know, that, I mean, obviously England and Argentina are still in the competition, so they've risen above. I do think Scotland would find themselves in a semi-final had they had the right sort of draw. Um, so I think that them being ranked about six is about right. Similarly with Wales, they got to the quarterfinals there, they were in the top eight. So, I mean, the top eight, it was the top eight. Minus Scotland at Fiji in the quarterfinals. So they're pretty accurate from that perspective. I do think Scotland were just on the wrong side of the draw. Uh, obviously, there'll be debate about you know, Australia versus Fiji, and you know, Australia beating Fiji, Fiji also losing Portugal. Uh, so there are obviously a few you know, teams that you can debate. But generally, I think that's not far off what the world sort of order is. I mean, Argentina being in the semi finals, you then consider them higher ranked than seven. But again, a bit like England, they've had a bit of a favourable draw. Um, playing against Wales, who, you know, were, I mean, seven and eight versus in the world. England, you know, it was six versus ten in the world. So, compare that to the top four sides, it's always going to be a low, I wouldn't say low standard, but um, they're never going to get massive gains in terms of the world rankings. And uh, what will be interesting now is that now we're into proper playoff rugby, which means that these rankings don't mean anything in terms of the match this weekend. Yes. All of a sudden, New Zealand will be going in as the second best team in the world, according to the rankings. Therefore, they are the clear favourites against Argentina. Similarly, South Africa, the favourites against England. But what we know when it comes to, to, to play rugby is that favourites and, and what's supposed to happen is not what does happen. I mean, we only saw that when England dumped New Zealand out of the World Cup four years ago. You know, New Zealand beating Ireland this weekend was, was a result that a lot of people didn't expect to happen. Even South Africa beating France was a result a lot of people didn't expect to happen. So there's obviously, uh, you know, a certain amount you can read into these world rankings, but but not not too much. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think these rankings are pretty accurate? Um, how much do you look at them? And, and, and what do you think? Would If you had to rank your top 10 team, what sort of order would you go? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.